first step, if you already got a business, you've already got a list and you're mailing, you've got marketing programs out there, what you need to do is establish, do I have a problem or not, right? So that way you can get that baseline and you can make sure um, these strategies are, are making sense and are gonna work for you. So <clears throat> first things first, uh, I suggest running a quick seed test. So you can do that through a company called Return Path or 250 OK, that's 250 OK. And both of these companies can provide you with what's called a seed test. And the seed test is essentially a list of a bunch of inboxes at the major providers. So let's say they have 50 inboxes at Gmail and 50 at OL and 50 at Comcast and all those. So then what they do is they give you the list and you can take it and send a copy of your next broadcast to this list, right? So it has all your links, all your branding, all your verbiage, it's got your email reputation in there. And then they automatically check each inbox with a script. And that script reports back and it says, oh, of those 50 inboxes at Gmail, uh, we only got that email that you sent us in 30 of them or, or whatever. And then they say, okay, well, to scale, we know then that your placement with Gmail right now is at 60% because they can scale it up and they can apply those numbers to your actual sets. So then you have your baseline stats, okay? So you wanna make sure you write those down. Uh, and when you do that broadcast, see what type of open rates and engagement you get. Next, it's time to uh, fix the problem, right? So 60% is pretty dang low. Uh, you can do some things like making sure you're only sending to your most engaged prospects, um, making sure that you're getting rid of all the people who haven't opened or clicked, and there's a few reasons for that. With Gmail, I'm sure you know there's a promotions folder and a primary folder, as well as the spam box. And if you're sending to a bunch of people who aren't engaging with you, there's a good chance you're gonna end up in promotions or spam. So my general rule of thumb, um, depending on your sales cycle, is you stop sending to people who haven't engaged with you in um, six months or longer. Now, if you have a longer sales cycle, you, you might wanna make that uh, a little bit longer. That's my general rule of thumb. Um, what that's gonna do, it's gonna show Gmail, like, oh, well, a big group of the people that get these messages from this person really like it, they open it, this is valuable content. And so then they'll start to deliver your message at a higher rate. So that'll help you really increase your placement with Gmail. Um, with most of the other ESPs, if you were to see that you have a problem from a seed test, you can actually uh, reach out to them via what's called a postmaster contact form. Or you can hit up your friendly neighborhood postmaster. Um, most ESPs should allow you to contact them. Um, for example, if you're an Entreport customer, my team and I are always available to speak to customers and help them resolve any issues they may be having. Um, and so that's, that's a good place to start, is really establishing whether there's a problem.